ChemCAD provides the capability to do unsteady state, that is, dynamic simulations. In this screencast, I cover the very basics of dynamic simulation. I've preloaded a flow sheet that consists of a dynamic vessel, a feed stream, and two product streams. In this case, I'm going to be interested in the impact of concentrating the caustic solution in the tank using concentrated caustic. The feed consists of concentrated caustic, 50% water, 50% caustic, at ambient conditions. The tank requires more information than its steady state counterpart, specifically, and recognizing that anything in green I must provide input information for, I've chosen a vertical vessel, four foot in diameter, 12 foot tall, with two to one elliptical heads. I'm going to operate it at adiabatic conditions, fixed pressure of 15 psi, and to begin the simulation I have to provide an initial condition I'm saying that the liquid level is six foot. I'll enter the composition in a minute. In this case, I'm going to specify an outlet flow, which is 100 pounds an hour. I'm feeding 400 pounds an hour. I would anticipate that the liquid level should rise, but I recognize that 50% caustic has greater density than 2% caustic solution, and there may or may not be a slight fall before the liquid level starts to rise. I also recognize that I'm diluting a concentrated caustic solution so I anticipate the temperature inside the tank is going to rise. So I have two safety concerns. The first is I want to ensure that the temperature does not rise too far and I want to ensure that I don't overflow the vessel. The initial condition is dilute caustic in the tank at 100 degrees. In order to do dynamic simulations, the first thing we need to do is to ensure that the convergence is set properly to dynamics. The default is steady state. In this case, I want to do a dynamic simulation. That is, I want to tell ChemCAD that I'm going to do a simulation as a function of time. The next thing we do is to recognize the control of dynamic simulation is in the dynamics menu. I need to set the runtime. I can put in multiple operation steps for this very basic screencast. I've chosen to do one operation step. I'll operate for 60 minutes with a step size of one minute. ChemCAD will record streams and unit operations, but I must tell it what streams and what unit operations I want recorded as a function of time. In this case, I preloaded that I'm going to record 103, that is, the product stream. I want to have a runtime plot, that is, while the simulation progresses, I want to monitor the progress of that simulation, usually with one particular variable, to ensure that it's doing what I think it should do. In this case, I'm interested in safety, so I am going to monitor the temperature as I concentrate up the scrubber solution. I expect the temperature to rise. I'm also going to record the unit operation. In this case, there's only one unit operation. I've preloaded it. As with the stream, it's going to record all the properties associated with this unit operation, but I want a runtime plot to monitor progress over the one hour effective simulation. I'm concerned that I might overfill the vessel, so I'm going to monitor the liquid level. We run from the initial state we'll get two graphs which monitor the temperature of stream 103 and the level of the dynamic vessel. We can see the liquid level rising as the solution is more concentrated and we see the temperature rising as the caustic 
is diluted. We can look at this in a bit more detail now that the simulation is over by going to plot, dynamic plots, and we can select a unit operation or we can select a stream as we choose. Let's just for this purpose select the stream. We'll look at stream 103 and I'd like to see how the caustic concentration changes with time. I already have temperature so I'll unclick it. Ensure that I'm plotting what I want which is the mass fraction of sodium hydroxide we should see it rise which it does. So at the end of this concentration period we've risen from 2 percent to nominally 6.5 to 6.6 percent sodium hydroxide. We could also plot various aspects of the vessel so in order to do dynamic simulations we set up a flow sheet with a dynamic vessel or some other unit operation of interest. We ensure that the convergence is set to dynamics. We control the simulation out of the dynamic menu. We can set run times. We can set what streams to record, set what unit operations to record, and while we do this I recommend that we make runtime plots so we can monitor the progress while the simulation is ongoing. Run from the initial state and at that point we have the dynamic simulation. This tip showed you the very basics of dynamic modeling. Thank you for using ChemCat. For more tips, visit chemstations.com. My name is Chip Howitt.